Today I'm gonna to show you the best cleaning spray for greasy messes. Bacon, anybody? Yeah, we love some cooking around here. And also, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip here today. Have you ever seen this Folex Instant Carpet Spot Remover? Over 40 years of success, my friend. I've never used this before, but we're gonna do a trial test here with our homemade spray cleaner and with this right here. I saw this in a very popular blog recently. I thought, you better believe Andrew Jean Cleaning is gonna be trying that out. Give me a thumbs up in that comments box below if you have ever seen this or used this before. Pet accidents, grease, ink, red wine, coffee, blood, rust, food, cut you. You can read the list. The list goes on, but no rinsing. Me likey. And in honor of all things Dollar Tree, these are my favorite spray bottles. Look at this. Rose gold and we got gold. This just makes your cleaning fun. And I hate putting labels on things, but I like different colored bottles. And what we're going to be using here today, you are going to want dark bottles or amber bottles. Anything I talk about here will be linked in the description box below. Also, make sure you subscribe with those notification bells turned on because I'm going to be sharing with you in a later video my top 10 must-haves when it comes to the Dollar Tree. And yes, these are one of them. Should we have a little bit more fun today and put a little bit more grease on here? Drop in some grease on here. Let it, let it stick in there. Also, take these off. This will help with your cleaning process. You can also remove these, by the way. Look at, watch this. Boom! Pop that off. Look at how dirty that is inside there. I'm going to show you a little trick. Just a little more, shall we, over here? Yes, we shall. Like finger painting grease, yes. Here's what you're going to need. One cup warm water. Double this recipe if you have a larger bottle. One tablespoon of baking soda. By the way, these magnetic spoons are adorable. I shared them in a recent Amazon kitchen organization video. I'm going to link that in the description box below. Because it is so good. Two teaspoons of Castile soap. By the way, I got to order a brand new one of these. I've gone through this entire thing. This is all natural and unscented if you love that. I'm so excited. I just ordered this Dr. Bronner's four pack. It has peppermint, lavender, tea tree, eucalyptus, and almond. I cannot wait to apply this to so many different cleaning hacks in my house. This is just going to up level the cleaning and make it way more fun. I mean, this Castile soap has 4.7 out of five stars and almost 6,000 ratings on it. I love that it's made from organic oils, no synthetic preservatives, and that it's 100% post-consumer recycled plastic bottles. Just makes you feel really good about your purchase. But I also really love this Volcano Capri Blue line. I have every thing possible that you could buy in this line because it smells so stinking delicious and fresh. So you're gonna put that in there. One teaspoon, my friend. And to help double your grease cutting action, about 20 drops of a lemon essential oil, or you could use regular lemon if you wanted to get that in there. Give this a nice stir. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it right into our bottle. Now, just a word of caution. When you use this the next time, give your bottle a nice good shake to make sure that that baking soda is mixed up. This was the perfect amount for this bottle. Yes, let's watch what happens. Clear the line. Yes, that is awesome spray action. I am so excited. Remember, we're doing our test. One side, we're going to be using our homemade cleaner, and then on the other side, we're going to be giving this Folix a try. I can't wait to try this on some other things. So we're going to go ahead and give this a good spray. Got my microfiber towel and my favorite cleaning gloves. Let's see if this picks it up rather than just smears all the grease. You know those spray cleaners that just smear the grease and don't actually lift the grease? Yeah, we need to lift all this grease. And my friend, that is looking real nice. Yes, yes, yes. The combination of the baking soda, the lemon, and then the dish soap works a Amazing. Ooh wait, let's get that all up real nice. Shine her up. I mean, that's pretty nice. Before, after. Make sure the nozzle's working on this one. And here we go, spray that around. A new microfiber towel, and let's get to work with all of this nasty, pure vegetable grease. I'm gonna let you know which one I like better too. I like homemade DIY stuff, but I also like some pre-made stuff, especially for quick, jobs on the go. 
All right, it's looking nice, looking shiny. Let me just flip this around a little bit. You know, I'm obsessed with smells, so I thought, well, what does this actually smell like? Get down there, take a whiff. And really, it smells like uh, nothing. So if you are sensitive to smells, this is definitely gonna be a winner for you. Survey says, all right, here's the before with all the grease. This is our homemade grease cleaner. This is the Folix grease cleaner. And I would say both are equally comparable. Just depends upon what you want to do. I have two other favors when it comes to degreasers. Yes, my friend, I've tried them all. This one, I made an entire video about how to use this in your house, not just with grease. Also, my husband approves of this one, especially on the grill. But I also like me some method degreaser. This works amazing too. Now about this, can you see that? Yes, let's take our homemade degreaser. I'm just gonna spray some here on this microfiber towel. And then I like to take a Q-tip. You certainly could use a cleaning toothbrush, but I don't think it fits in there as well. You're gonna take your Q-tip and you're just gonna go around in here with your favorite degreaser. If you wanna do the homemade route, if you wanna try the Folex, if you want to try the method, or if you want to try Goo Gone, look, we're getting all up in there. Ah, now my stove is happy. Hoo hoo hoo, look at that. So of these, which do I like best? Well, I will say about this one, use less baking soda than you think because sometimes it can be a bit streaky, but I would have to say it's this Goo Gone time and time again. I have to give this more of a shot. I will in a upcoming video, but if you'd like to see many uses for this, I'm gonna link it in the description box below. If you haven't, be sure to head on over to andreajeancleaning.com. It will also be linked in the description box below to access your free printables, especially this one right here that my team has created especially for you. It is your stress-free holiday planner to help ease any tension when it comes to Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Eve. Well, otherwise, click the video on screen now if you want to see 18 plus amazing Amazon kitchen gadgets thumbs up subscribe and I will see you my friend in the next one